Hello and welcome to another episode of What's Inside. Today we're doing something a little different. Uh, my brother brought me this box of, I guess, cards back from Japan. And all I know about them is that they have Ultraman on the cover. Uh, and the, his assortment of monsters. So we have the different Ultraman heroes. I think Ultra 7 and some of the others. Uh, but I've been dying to tear into this. And I thought, well, you might as well watch me. So I, I waited to open it until we could record an episode, and here we are. So it's just got this little plastic thing on it, and I don't know anything about this because I can't read Japanese. Um, so yeah, let's see what this is. Oh, it just slides down. All right, so this is what it looks like. And then... I guess this could slide off. I don't think it's supposed to though. I think it's just supposed to slide down. All right, I don't really know what I'm doing because uh, I don't know much about Japanese stuff. Yeah, this just looks like that's supposed to secure it. And I don't want to break it. So that's the back of the box. And then it's got different scenes from Ultraman on it. And then same thing on the other side. So, ooh, yeah, I don't know how to open this. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's snug. Wow. All right. Oh, we have a little insert here. Um, I actually have no idea what this is. <laughs> As near as I can tell, this looks like uh, it's some kind of instruction sheet. Because I see some cards with like an English letter A or a Roman ace or A and what look like uh, heart and spade. And on the other side, we have a little more of these little cartoon guys doing something. So this is clearly a game. Um, how you play? I don't know. I don't speak Japanese. Oh, there's Ultraman. Woo, classic. Classic Ultraman. Not postmodern, none of this new crap. Original Ultraman. Okay, it's a, looks like it's a deck of cards. And they have little things written there, uh, which probably means something. With the different Ultraman characters and monsters. These are pretty cool. So you could probably use it like a normal deck of cards, or maybe this is a sub game. I'm I'm not sure, and uh, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm gonna have to try and find somebody to translate this. If anybody out there watching that can read this, um, feel free to translate it and get back to me <laughs> if you have that kind of free time. Oh, there's there's the original. Oh, Hayata. Well, I thought I'd share this with you, even though I really can't read it, just because I thought it was a cool novelty gift. Um, and I like getting stuff from other places. And it's always cool to see cards from, uh, especially Japan, where we don't get a lot of the same cards they do, or it takes forever for us to get them. There's the beta capsule. What, the science patrol isn't on here? Just monsters and Ultraman? That's a shame. They had to wear those orange uniforms with bow tie or with regular ties. That's aside from fashion crimes, that's probably fairly embarrassing. They deserve at least to get their own card. Uh, 
the original Ultraman will always be my favorite. Oh, they have a Joker cards. Even that's pretty cool. All right, yeah, pretty neat little deck of cards. Uh, didn't know what to expect at all, so I thought, well, open them on camera and get initial impression out of the way. I'm assuming this is this instructiony sheet is supposed to be how to play something, some kind of game maybe. I'm not sure, but uh, I'll have to see about getting that translated by somebody because I'm not going to learn Japanese. I'm lazy. Uh, but yeah, that's what's in this uh, Ultraman box thing. Um, pretty cool. Pretty nice set of cards, actually. They're pretty nice quality. And it's got Ultraman on the back, so you can't really go wrong. Best playing cards should have Ultraman on the back. So that's it for this episode of What's Inside. Um, I don't. We looked inside of this Ultraman cards, and uh, hopefully we'll see you next time on What's Inside. Thanks for watching.